Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about naming disubstituted benzenes using ortho, meta, and para. IUPAC nomenclature prefers a numbering system to indicate the positions of substituents on a benzene ring. This provides an unambiguous method of naming molecules. However, there is another practice of identifying benzene-based molecules with two substituents that often arises in organic chemistry. This technique utilizes the prefixes ortho, meta, and para. Let's begin with ortho. Ortho indicates that one substituent is on carbon 1 and another substituent is on carbon 2. In other words, the two substituents are right next to each other in the benzene ring. So how is the ortho description incorporated into a molecule's name? To name a molecule in ChemDoodle, select the molecule and press the Attach Updating Label button. In the pop-up, be sure the IUPAC name is selected and press Add. This molecule is O-dichlorobenzene. There are two substituents of chlorine on a benzene ring that are right next to each other on carbons 1 and 2. O is the abbreviation for ortho. Let's look at meta next. Meta specifies that one substituent is on carbon 1 and the second substituent is on carbon 3. This means that the two substituents are separated by one carbon in the benzene ring. This molecule is M-dibromobenzene. There are two substituents of bromine on a benzene ring that are separated by one carbon. M is short for meta, implying that the bromine substituents are on carbons 1 and 3. Last, there's para. Para indicates that one substituent is on carbon 1 and another substituent is on carbon 4. That is, the two substituents are on opposite sides of the benzene ring, across from one another. This molecule is p-difluorobenzene. There are two substituents of fluorine on a benzene ring that are on opposing sides of the ring. P stands for para, specifying that the two fluorine substituents are on carbons 1 and 4. When naming disubstituted benzenes, remember that the prefixes ortho, meta, and para are abbreviated with a respective single letter, O, M, or P. They are included at the beginning of the name and are italicized. A hyphen separates the letter from the rest of the molecule name. You've learned that benzene-based molecules with two substituents can be described using ortho, meta, and para. With any substituent X on carbon 1 of the benzene ring, ortho describes a second substituent on carbon 2 that is right next to the first substituent, either to the right or to the left of it. Meta denotes any substituent X on carbon 1 and a second substituent on carbon 3, which can be either this carbon or this carbon. The two substituents are separated by one carbon in the benzene ring. Finally, para specifies any substituent X on carbon 1 and another substituent on carbon 4, such that the substituents are across from each other. Keep in mind the substituents on the benzene can be aligned differently than you've seen here, perhaps like this, or even like this. Regardless of how the substituents are oriented, ortho, meta, and para can still be used because these prefixes describe the relationship between the two substituents as 1, 2, 1, 3, or 1, 4. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.